this video, we are going to discuss the current scenario of our polluted earth. Also, we are going to discuss the problems that we are creating right now and how it will affect the future generations. So hold back your seats and get ready for today's presentation which we are very excited to present before our wonderful audience. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. It is also called the Blue Planet because of the enormous amount of water that is present on its surface. The Earth was formed around 4.5 billion years ago. It is one of four rocky planets on the inside of the solar system. The Earth is the only place in the solar system where life exists. It has all the life supporting elements such as air, water and soil. But still, human activities are causing damage either directly or indirectly to the environment on a global scale that includes population growth, overconsumption, overexploitation, pollution and deforestation. So here we have the geologist, the climate activist and the futurologist to tell us more about the current scenario of the earth and what will happen in the future if we continue to pollute our earth and how we can prevent it. Earth was more beautiful in the 20th century. Its greenery had no bounds. The birds lived readily. The humans had intimate social relationships and even neighborly feelings existed. But with the passage of time, we geologists have discovered that in the early stages of life on Earth, technology was not so advanced which resulted in more greenery and more happiness. But nowadays, nobody cares for Earth and is destroying it mercilessly. The late 18th century and early 19th century, the hair the high industrialization of Europe led to the beginning of air pollution. Gradually, pollution reached its height in the 20th century during the two world wars. According to statistics, the highest rate of pollution experienced by any nation was China in 1966. CFC released into the atmosphere by various vehicles led to the increase of the ozone hole in the late 20th century. Due to the greenhouse effect, icebergs and glaciers in the poles are melting leading to the death of the organisms living there. Now statistics say that, due to the air pollution and water pollution, the average number of deaths per annum is at least 4.2 million. By encouraging heavy industrialization, we, the human beings, are digging our own graves. To prevent the rise of global warming and pollution, we must follow the following steps. Encourage afforestation. Following the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle. Reduce fossil fuel emissions adoption of energy efficient methods and prevention of using devices that emit safety. Today, in a world where technology has highly advanced, we, the people, do not care about nature. The climate, ecological and health crisis are all interlinked, but we no longer see the links between them. But as a nature lover and an activist, I would like to connect the dots. Let's face the problem we fallen on earth as the children of nature because if we don't change it, our survival chances are depreciating day by day. We, the young people, should show that we are unstoppable when the matter comes to nature. I don't want anyone to be hopeful but to act as if the house is on fire because it already is. This nature crisis is not a one-time thing, but this is our entire future. The moment we, the future generation of the world, decide to fulfill something, we can do anything. Fortune and luck favors the bold, not the weak. Futurologist, the earth shall be destroyed if not cared for. In the 21st century, the humans do not care for what has been given to them as blessings. They are misusing the things provided to them and do not care for others. So as predicted, the world shall end if the boons are misused. We should take care of nature, ourselves and everyone else. Earth is a planet which is different from every other celestial bodies in the Milky Way. The effects of human-caused global warming are happening now are irreversible on the time scale of people alive today and will worsen in the decades to come. 
future effects change will continue through this century and beyond temperatures will continue to rise frost free season and growing season will lengthen changes in precipitation patterns more droughts and heat waves hurricanes will become stronger and more intense sea level will rise 1 to 8 feet by 21000 arctic likely to become ice free climate issues we are facing on our planet even though some people aren't aware of how seriously it affects the world there are a lot of things you can do to keep them informed We'll go over some easy ways to bring up climate change in conversation and move on to the actions you can take in your community and get the word out there. Reach all your friends and family with reputable articles. If you can, look for video clips that are around 30-45 seconds long since people are most likely to watch something short than read an entire scientific article. Always read through an article and check where it's coming from before you post it so you don't spread any misinformation since a lot of people get their information online it's a great way to draw the most attention to the problem thank you over to aditya earth is a very beautiful planet it is the only planet where life is possible but now it is being ruined due to men's certain activities Taking care of the world is the duty of every human being. Our planet is our home and we should take care of it as much as we can. Now, it's our job to spread the word and let everyone know how important and vital it is to take care of our mother nature. The planet Earth thanks you very much. Last but not the least, We would like to thank Ms. Orpita for assigning us with the project on the topic Earth the Blue Planet and would sincerely like to thank for her guidance and support. I would also like to thank my team mates who have always been there for each other. Without everyone's support and dedication in today's project, we could never have completed this task. Thanks a lot.